México. We began with a major development tonight to a story that we broke earlier today. Embattled nursing home owner Bob Dean has been arrested in connection to the Hurricane Ida incident where 800 residents were evacuated and packed into a warehouse in Independence, resulting in at least 12 deaths. Yeah, you may recall this. The Attorney General's office says Dean faces at least 15 felony charges. WDSU's Shay O'Connor joins us live from one of Dean's closed facilities in New Orleans. And Shay, you caught up with a family of one of the victims. How are they reacting to today's news? Fellow and Travers, I mean, families of those victims or, or the people who are actually living in those facilities, they tell me that the conditions inside of the Independence facility were absolutely terrible. And I mean, as a result, about 12 deaths. Now, Dean faces felony counts of cruelty to persons with infirmities. That's someone who suffers from a physical or a mental disability that makes it incapable or makes them incapable of caring for themselves. Dean also charged with Medicaid fraud and obstruction of justice. Now, Dean is accused of refusing to move residents out of the facility after the storm. I actually just spoke with the niece of a 97 year old who was evacuated from here at the Maison to Independence, experiencing horrid conditions for about a week before family members even knew where she was. Sabrina Baker says justice needs to be served to the fullest extent for what was done. It's horrifying. And then the people who lost loved ones in that, or maybe who still aren't reconnected with their loved ones. I'm just thinking about them and how, what they're going through and how he should pay for that. No one, no one should lose their loved ones in a hurricane, especially people that can't take care of themselves. The Tangipahoa court documents actually revealed that Dean was released earlier today on bond. And of course, the investigation is still ongoing. Up next at 6 p.m., I'll have much more from other family members who say they went through the exact same thing. That's coming up next at 6 p.m. Reporting live, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News. Shay, thank you. Since those nursing home deaths after Ida, state leaders have passed legislation to protect the vulnerable. Generators are now required at all nursing homes and all evacuation sites, like the one that was used in Tangibaho, must be inspected and approved by the state of Louisiana.